Okay, so this is my second part to the Blender Earth creation tutorial. And in this part we will merge the layers together to comp to create our final earth. Okay, so you're going to want to select all the layers. So you can do that by holding down shift and selecting each layer. And then you're going to want to go to this line and um, right click and then you should get this little thing that says split screen and then go across and make the new screen a composite not not composite a do node a node editor okay and then go to the little face and click use nodes now go to the scene tabs or click F10 and then you should get this place you apply do composite under the animating thing next to do sync woods and then go to the output layer in the very front and as you can see we have this menu and these layers and these layers control certain layers of like the blend file so make the first one and name it ground create a new one name it cloud and apply that to the second layer make another one name it atmos and apply it to the third layer so it's all pretty straightforward here. Just write, name it, and make it so it chooses the right layers. Okay, so now we're going to use our nodes. We we have at the moment the first node, which is our ground node. And if we click on that, we click the little render button next to it. The it only renders the stuff that is on that layer. So we have this. We click that. That's the ground layer, and it rendered the planet without the clouds or without the atmosphere. There's. So click Shift D and create three more. One for each layer. Now add a blur node which can be found under the filter you can also access this by pressing spacebar set it to 5 on the x and y values and yeah set it to 5 then change these appropriately so this will be the fall off layer this can be the atlas layer and um, then get the blur and, uh, and then yeah duplicate it and attach it to this one so they're both attached to their separate things now you're going to want to click on this little thing and choose gorse this will make it so the blur ex expands outwards now choose this one here to be the cloud one and click spacebar and go down to colors and mix and then you've got this mix you know we're gonna detach it from the blur if it's attached to that and change the fact value to one and change it to an add then connect it up to the cloud and ground and then duplicate this Maybe take a bit of time you might get those little black numbers appear. I accidentally duplicated that but that's not what you want. Anyway, duplicate it again and then connect it all up. So connect the that that mix that add to the that one and then connect that all together. And yeah. And you want to change this one to be a screen. So find screen and this one also needs to be a screen. Okay. Looks good. Now just switch off the grease pencil. Um render that. That should work. My computer stay here a while. Oh, what's happened? Uh, right, I haven't connected it to the final composite. Well, that'll explain it. You need to connect it to this because this is the final amp output of your picture. 
as you can see that sort of popped up there so that should work now let's try it again Oh, so there we go. That's quite good. Um, yeah, so as you can see, the atmosphere blurs out, but it doesn't seem to blur enough. Ah, right. We can change that. It still blurs out quite nicely. You can see how it works. That's uh, right. That that makes sense. This need the one for the atmos layer needs to be ten on the x and y values, just so it blurs out nicely. So let's render it again. Oh, tedious rendering. Ah, there we go. That blurs out nicer. So that's how to create the actual Earth. There you go looks good so yeah I'll be making tutorials more to get city lights and shadows so watch them if you wish to see more